What's up guys? It's Dark Lich. I'm going to try and walk you through some of the Mario stuff we got going on here. Um, if anybody wants any of the parts, I cannot share it publicly. You could send me an email um, and I could maybe send you some of the pieces. But I'm going to walk you through some of the basics because some of the stuff I did here is kind of uh, unique. So let me walk you through some of this stuff. Um, one of the, the, the first parts is I made the hidden power-ups, okay? And the, the way I make the hidden stuff, if you look, all right, I attached the billboard just so I can find the freaking thing once it's in the level because it's invisible, okay? So let's go and look at the, the mesh I got. If you look, I'm using a hidden material. So let's find that so you can see how to make a hidden material in case you don't know how. If you look, I basically took a material that's just the white material, okay? I use the basic floor one. So if you go into your sample map with the sample content, you'll see that there's a color in there. Basic floor. See right here? And I'm sorry, basic wall. Alright, if you open that up, okay, if you look on the material attributes, all right, first thing is that I set the alpha to 0, 0.0. This is important because now we're going to take the material and make it translucent. You see here? Translucent. And then drag the alpha. Doesn't matter the color. It's going to be invisible. Drag the alpha into opacity and click save. The material will be invisible in the game. All right, so looking at the blueprint here, or should I say the components in the blueprint, you'll see... There's the box, which is basically over, it's going to be overlap. So I know when the guy's fist or head bumps into it. Okay, so you overlap all dynamic. Okay. And it's stuck to the very bottom, so I know when the guy's hit right there. Under the graph, this basically looks to see when the guy wants it. I do cast to my character, which is respawn with Mario, so I can launch him off the edge and he'll repop back to the beginning. Alright, I destroy the bump box so that I can't hit it more than once unless I want to. It's going to play the sound of the power-up sound. It changes the material to the spent power-up material. And I spawn the grow mushroom. Okay. And uh, basically, that's the, the, the gist of this. Alright, the biggest part of it, it, we already know what it does. If I play it, through get it the hits so on the 10th hit it destroys the bump box and then sets the material to the spent box material you understand so if you look I put in a pin for every one of them play the sound give me a coin count give the player credit for it all right and, and work its way up from there so really all the only thing I'm basically doing is counting down 10 times and popping a coin at the top of it during the time okay hopefully uh, you know you can understand this um, like I said I can't share any of the parts but you know at the very least you can at least see what I did maybe that'll help you somehow all right so either way I hope uh, it gives you the information you're looking for um, uh, more later take care